Congratulations, you've mastered the basics. Now let's learn about an important tool you can use to avoid some academic integrity violation pitfalls. You aren't an expert in every field, and your professors don't expect you to be. You came to college to learn. Citation, in addition to helping you complete your work ethically, can be a learning tool. What role did the U.S. play in the French Revolution? You can cite what you learned from other sources. In addition to saving you from plagiarism, it's going to help you learn. Instead of copying and pasting from a wiki, you can find a good source from the library that explains the connections between the U.S. and France during the 1700s. Then you'll want to use that in your paper. Is it plagiarism to use that work? Not if you cite the source correctly. You might wonder, what if I just summarize or paraphrase what the author says? Do I still need to cite it then? Yes, in these cases, you're definitely still required to cite. It doesn't only apply to direct quotations. Citation isn't limited to text sources either. Any websites, pictures, songs, theories, or ideas that you use that you did personally not write or invent must be cited in academic projects. It's the only way to use the work of another person without plagiarizing. There are a few exceptions to the rule, which we will cover now, but before we do, it's important that you remember this. When in doubt, cite it. You won't get in trouble for citing something that might not need to be cited, but you will get in trouble for not citing something that should be cited. When you think a piece of information might be exempt from citing, here are the questions you should ask yourself. Is this information common knowledge? A widely known, undisputed fact? Is it a historical date? If you can answer yes to either of these questions in the context of your information, you probably don't need to cite it. But significant details beyond a basic fact would require a citation. And what do we mean by citation? Well, you might have noticed the parenthetical citation examples on the previous screen. In academic work, the parenthetical citation must be paired with a full work cited page at the end of your work. The format will vary based on the citation requirements of your professors, so be sure to check with them when you start a project.